Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the best way to support the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. So what's the hot topic for today? What are we going to talk about? Let's talk about it. These are going to be a lot of media blasts. A lot has been going on today as I pin my hair up. Um, many people are talking about the Tristan and Chloe situation. She's tearing up. Then she's trying to be positive, trying to look for, you know, this is the one thing I'll say about the K's and the J's. Even though they say they try not to make the fathers look bad and they try and paint them in a good light, why do y'all keep using them in your storyline? Why can't you move on? Why aren't we talking about other people that are not causing you tears? Let's be very clear. When you talk about healthy and safe relationships, why do you continue to put yourself in a situation that's going to have you emotional? Can she, can't she find somebody else? Why aren't we seeing healthy narratives? It is because they like that story in line to be chaotic and toxic. Sorry, my opinion. All comments are alleged. Fair use. Who else do you know that has this many relationship problems? And mind you, Courtney currently, allegedly, is the only one that's married. Travis Barker loves Courtney. He loves her. He appreciates her. He, he supports her. He's there. You could tell the love and the support they have for one another. So this is the biggest thing. Why is Hulu putting out this narrative and why aren't they showing positive relationships? Because this is the biggest thing. A lot of people say toxic relationship problems, cheating problems, infidelity He's shown who he is and they use him as a storyline. He gets, I'm sure he's, I don't know if he's signed an NDA. I don't know if he's getting a check, but you figure they've already spoke allegedly about Ray J in regards to her doing the lie detector. Don't know whether that was true. Don't know whether that was false. I'm not a lie detector expert, but many people were calling it out saying, how can you really pick up everything with that thick of a jacket? How do we, how do we know what his certifications are. Now, a lot of us were saying, now if you would have showed us that your certifications are up to par and these are the do's and don'ts you can't do for this polygraph test, we didn't hear none of that. Like I said in the video, I've seen this guy before. He's been on shows before and he would always tell people what the rules and regulations are. Now, mind you, I ain't watched the show. I don't watch that guy. And I, I, I follow different clips, but let's be very clear. We know what healthy and safe relationships are. Mothers need to teach their daughters different. So then we're also going to talk about Ray J is calling them out in regards to his IG live page being down. It looked like Pete Davis was on a premiere, casual clothes, gla uh, glasses. Everyone's like, oh, Pete, thanks for dressing up for the occasion. He's like, well, just be happy I'm here or something he said. But here nor there, Pete, Pete was able to get his life together. So, and I'm sure his family is happy that he is out of that situation because now all these allegations that came about, whether true, false, if there is a court date, the judge will decide what is true, what is false. We don't know, but we see the text messages. We see what's being said. So a judge will have to decide what is true facts and what's going on. Will he sue? Will he settle? What will happen? But the biggest thing is he has a company and if they can just make a phone call to get your page shut down, I mean, doesn't this seem familiar? Kanye went through the same thing. And was it around the same time that the show allegedly was coming out? Yeah. Here nor there, folks on healthy relationships. 
Chloe's talking about her and Tristan. People are tired of that situation. She continues to put herself in that situation. And this is the one thing you have to realize. Not a doctor, not a counselor, not to embarrass, not to shame. But the one thing is, if you keep putting yourself in unhappy situation, it does something to your body. At some point, whether it's stress, whether it's anxiety, whether it's, you know, not sleeping good, you know, it can start affecting you. It may not be something that they're seeing right now, but it may be something that's going to be seen down the line. What has made the K's and the J's get so slim? Was Kendall even getting so much attention and they wanted that attention? Kendall sometimes would put on bathing suits and all her friends would be like, oh my gosh, lose your body. It's so slim and, and, or here nor there. That's Chloe's body. That's Kim's body. They can do whatever they want. But the biggest thing is, are they showing healthy relationships? Are they showing great body types? Are they showing girls what the do's and don'ts are? Is it healthy? They may think in their minds it's healthy. So here nor there, we're not here to judge, criticize, just reporting on what is being reported. In regards to Tiffany Haddish, it shows that the reporters are asking her questions um, now that um, there's been a statement, now that there's been, you know, things going on. And this is the one thing. Many people saw the tape. I refuse to watch that and be and, and note people aren't supposed to watch that people aren't supposed to share that period let's be very clear not a legal i'm not a lawyer can't give legal advice but it's been said that you should not be watching children but from all the people that have spoke about it they were disgusted by it why would you put yourself in that position two she's basically saying she's lost everything she lost all her gigs she's lost different jobs and, you know, this is the one thing, people, be a good person, be a kind person. People know right from wrong. And then people get mad when you're called out for hurting someone, disrespecting someone, breaking the law, allegedly. But here nor there, if what was done, I was surprised that it was saying, you would have to look at the statement. I can't even, I can't. I can't, but if that's what the person felt, that's what the person felt. The people saw the video. So I don't know how you can say this didn't transpire when there's video. And I don't know if there was other people. I don't know if there's going to be other cases. But the thing is, parents, watch your children. You may think the aunt, the uncle, the niece, the nephew, just be careful and make sure people know. I will call the police on you if you touch my child. Even if they don't even think that there's something, I will call the police on you. I will put you in jail. You have to sometimes tell people that, period. Because then they'll know, oh, well, well, you know, even if I was thinking about it. No, you shouldn't even be thinking about it. You shouldn't even be putting kids in any situation. Because this is the thing. It wasn't her children. It was somebody else's kids. So here nor there, how it went, how all comments are alleged, I don't know. But the biggest thing is people have talked about it, the videos out there, and the allegations are out there. So she spoke about losing everything. She spoke about how um, she has no job, but here nor there. And then next to Tiffany Haddish, we have Kim getting in an ice bath. She's going to keep doing things and different experiences. She just bought a house, allegedly. And then there's reports that Kanye tried to assist to say, you want me to help you design it? Come on. There's going to be so many false narratives to take you off the direction of what's really going on. And that's why I told y'all, I, I look at the bigger picture because if I created and listened to that false narrative, I could be putting a false narrative out there if they are the ones that created the false narrative. So you got to be careful with getting distracted. It looks as if Kanye's children are at the school. North seems kind of interested, not interested, but here nor there. The other thing we're going to talk about, and then we're going to wrap it up. It looks like Black China has caught a movie gig, and it is called The Black Hamptons. So congratulations to Black China in regards to getting a movie gig. I might, I might show it 
and then I might show the Tiffany Haddish thing. So let's 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 show that real quick. That's Black China, the Black Hamptons. Yo, we in LA. I'm trying to go live on my shit. They block me, P. They block me on live. They block me on live. Instagram blocked me. They said that I was talking too much shit. I wasn't following the guidelines because I was telling the truth. Well, yeah, yeah, Chris Jenner, but you working, you work, you working twenty four hours to try to stop me, huh? Y'all don't, re y'all don't want to respond to what I said, but y'all want to get me blocked from all the sites and banned from this and banned from that. Y'all don't want to respond though. That shit, it's crickets over there. All y'all can do is get me blocked from Instagram and shit, so y'all can try to silence my voice. You can't silence the truth. Instagram, like y'all lucky it's late night, cause I'd be blowing y'all up. I need to go live, turn my com no, turn my live component back on. That shit unfair. If not, I'm going, fuck it, I'm going live on tag. Go to tag, I'm live all night. Instagram, we got an issue. Because y'all know y'all like, I know what y'all do. We in LA, I'm trying to go live on my shit. And so let's listen in on the Tiffany Haddish situation. No, you know, how does it feel to have that behind me? And it looks like it's TMZ. I know that was probably the stressful thing <laughs> you think yeah i'm sure yeah do you, do you feel like you know that people there could be some damage done you know to, to the career you know after this because it's behind you now but like is that is that something oh i lost about? everything like, all my gigs gone really? everything gone so so <laughs> I mean, are you, are you, I, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is a bad, that's a bad look. But now that they've changed space, you know, I don't do you feel know, like bro. you regain your, you Ain't no, I don't have no job. Well, look. I don't have no job, bro. No, you know, how does it feel to have that behind? So, everyone, be careful of your surroundings. Be careful of the people you choose to be around. You can't say, I was there if you weren't in the video. Let's just be very clear. In regards to the Chloe and Tristan situation, you can't say that, you know, we should focus on him being a great person. Many of the women know, allegedly, Tristan is, is whatever. But if you continue to put yourself in an unhealthy situation, you can't blame people for having an opinion. Why would you put yourself in an unhealthy situation? So, well wishes. Stay focused, everyone. Focus on healthy and safe relationships. Focus on being around loving and kind people. You know, sometimes if you're the smartest one in the room and people continue to down people, talk about people, they're probably talking worse about you if you're one of the strongest ones in the room. So well wishes, stay focused, be safe, protect yourself and your surroundings. And don't let anybody mistreat you. Don't be in a situation with a guy that's going to lie, cheat, and mistreat you. Protect your heart. Protect your soul. Protect your spirit. Thanks for tuning in.